you know, I didn't even really want to do this review today, but I have to. So, as you can see from the logo, we're going to have a little discussion about PETA and what they've been doing, at least to my childhood and probably a lot of yours too. PETA, as uh, people for the ethical treatment an of animals, are people who ethically like to fuck your childhood with their thwarted cocks. Have, you know, made a couple Flash games, one for Mario, and uh, recently one for Pokemon. Now, we're going to give a little history on these games with some picture shows, because that's how I like to do things instead of actually going through and recording things, because I'm a lazy bitch. Anyway, the first one was the new Super Chick Sisters, which kind of made Mario out to be a turtle-stomping asshole, which, granted, he does stomp turtles, but he also stomps weird mushroom things. And it made KFC evil, which they probably are because they're a corporation, but we're not really getting into that. And actually, we're not even really getting into this. This was just backstory. What we're really going to talk about is the Pokemon Black and Blue game, which looks like this. And as you can see from the beginning, the four Pokemon that you get, Pikachu, Taipig, Snivy, and Oshawott, looked totally fucked in the ass. So, let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. Here comes the game. Now... <clears throat> I've never really had a problem with, uh, you know, animal rights. Like, I'm all for that kind of stuff. Or at least I was all for that stuff until this game came along. Now, it's kind of like, you know what? If Peter thinks it's a joke, maybe I should think it's a joke. So, you know, next time I see a chicken, I'll just cut its head off and drink its blood while watching it run around. And next time I see a cute little puppy, I'm just going to punt it across the room. Because, fuck it. Animals are apparently fun to abuse. And, let's dive right into my first problem with the game. Look at Pikachu. He's missing a chunk of his ear. And, Sharon just hit me with a baseball bat. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure that the bottle in his hand is alcohol. Which is weird, because he's 10. He's a 10-year-old. Is this game insinuating that Pokemon makes 10-year-olds go out and beat animals? Because that's not what happened with me. It made me treat my animals better. Taught me how to the responsibility of taking care of them when they were hurt. Uh, later games even, you know, showed you that feeding them makes them like you more. Even taught me math skills and more words. So, really, this game kind of helped me grow as a person and made me into the person I am today. And I played this game with my family, so if it seems like I start taking this really personally, I do. Um, also, look at Ty Pig. He's missing half of his ears. And what the fuck's up with Nurse Joy? Actually, scratch that. What the fuck's up with the trees that are bloody? Is this game insinuating people just go bashing Pokemon's heads in on trees? What the shit? Seriously, why does Nurse Joy have blood? Is she like an operating person now? She's a doctor, she has to get all in there? Oh yeah, and by the way, instead of healing your Pokemon, this game likes to give you chests with videos of sad, dead animals. Because that's really what you want to see. So, yeah. Be prepared for that. I'm not going to do that because I'm not getting involved in this pretension. And the next battle you meet, by the way, is Professor Juniper, because we all know that Pokemon professors are sadistic, crazy, perfume-spraying assholes. Just wait and see. Seriously, this game's trying to make the point that animal testing is wrong, and I can agree with that, but using Pokemon as a device to do that is ridiculous. Dissection. You see that? Mercilessly slashed at Taipei. That... what? And is this, is this supposed to be a game for kids, by the way? We're supposed to be showing how graphic this is for kids? The fuck? Ever? Kids are gonna be scared of this shit. I mean, look at this. Kids are gonna be... If anything, this game's gonna scare kids out of becoming scientists or something. Yeah, animal testing is wrong, but you could also make the argument that it has to be done. It's a necessary evil. And yeah, that kind of sucks if that's true, but eh, who am I? I'm not here to argue that kind of politics. I'm just here to say Pete is a fucking asshat for this shit. It just, I just can't believe that a game like this exists. And it's so straightforward, too. Basically, all you do is go and battle people and get Pokemon from them and try and convince them to be stop being assholes. And it really just twists my shit that they make them all so fucking nutshit crazy. Like, they were such nice people. And why does Snivy have a heroin needle in his head? Is he a junkie? Is it part of testing? And, you know, again, you get another thing, and blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. But you know what really twists my cocks about this game? Is what they did to Ash. Look at that for a minute. That is Ash. He is... What? 
What are they doing? They ask why he hates him, and he says, I don't hate you, I just don't care, which is not you. Ash preaches constantly love and respect to Pokemon, take care of them, because they're creatures that have their thoughts and feelings, and has let go several. He even let go his Butterfree. I, again, I, I know I'm getting way into this, and I'm talking way more than this game deserves, but I just have to rail against it, you know? This is just fucking bullshit. And besides that, the game's kind of terrible. All it is is setting you along a track has the Final Fantasy 13 Syndrome. And, really, it doesn't matter what fucking move you use against somebody. If Pikachu were out there to Thundershock the shit out of him, I'm pretty sure that'd be the end of Ash for this. Just, Peta, go fuck yourself. Seriously, you're, this, this is friendly advice here, and I don't know why I'm giving it to you, but if you want to help animals, that's fine, but don't turn it into a joke by doing stuff like this, because it delegitimizes it. Actually do something. Make classes on things. Help teach kids, not this kind of shit. This makes people think you're fucking assholes and nobody wants to be involved with it. And you know what? Just so you know how I really feel since I can't seem to sum it up, I'm gonna let somebody else come in. Here's Pink from Pink Floyd's The Wall to tell you how I feel.